So Daniel Destin Credin is back to get of us another movie in his filmography, but is Just Mercy a great movie? Is it enough to see with his this director and a great cast, or is this just a movie you can pass on? Let's get into it. Your boy Joshua, aka Future Filmmaker, for your reviews, reviews, giving you guys a the second of my four final 2019 reviews, and this one is gonna be for Just Mercy. So Just Mercy stars Michael B. Jordan, Brie Larson, Jamie Foxx, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and it tells the story based on the true story in the book of the same name by Brian Stevenson. And we see Michael B. Jordan as the lawyer, Brian Stevenson, and he takes on the case of Walter McMillan, who is sentenced to death for murder despite evidence proving that he is not the one to do it. In the years that follows before this, he encounters racism and legal manoeuvrings. Men as he is fighting for this guy's life after he is accused for being for killing a white woman so when it comes to just mercy i meant i knew nothing about what this was going to be about all i knew was that michael b jordan jamie fox and Bruce larson were going to be in it and i was interested in it because i the director's previous efforts I loved his work on The Glass Castle, and I can't wait to see what he does with Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings. But this actually had me curious. After seeing this, I will simply say that Just Mercy is worthy of your time. First off, big cast here. The cast does a great job at providing the the their screen time for this film and with the material they work with every performance in this movie is really solid i love the performances of michael b jordan he you can tell that he wants to help this guy and he wants to to get himself out of the situation and also you do feel for the guy because he does go through racism and maneuverings through all in the years that follow as he is still fighting with his life and I thought Michael B. Jordan great actor loved him last in last year's Black Panther as Eric Killmonger I thought he was one of the best MCU villains and he's great here as the lawyer and the fact that he also produced this movie also makes it very helpful because you could tell he has a lot of ideas on how he wanted to play this character and he he did his homework for this character he did a great job as the the, the character now Brie Larson again great actress she won an Oscar in this decade and she has been getting a lot of the undeserved hate that she's been getting and it's not really fair to her be called the Captain Marvel thing if you want to go there but I will say that she is great in the movie I loved her performance for the screen time she's given she does pull, manage to pull off a great southern accent and she does an amazing job but the standout we have to talk about in this movie is Jamie Foxx as Walter McMillan you feel sympathy for this guy because he is really pushing Brian St Stevenson in a positive light to help him get out of the situation and you feel bad for him because you know that his character didn't do it. Other cast members such as Tim Blake Nelson, O'Shea Jackson Jr. and Grave Spow, everyone does a great job. As far as the directing and writing by Destin Daniel Cretton, 
this guy knows what he's doing. He's a great filmmaker, great writer. He knows what he's doing. And I will say his writing is very strong here. But the, his direction is even stronger. Especially in the courtroom scenes and the scenes between Stevenson and McMillan having conversations with each other. That is fun to watch. The racism scenes in this movie are done very well too, but I'll get back to those in my negatives because I do have one little problem with them. But you do have feel a sense of emotional impact as you watch this movie. This is not a feel-good movie because I, I, I'll get to it in my negatives, but the cinematography and the music and the editing is really well done. All of that is very well done and the production design is really well handled. You can tell that they put a lot of effort into this and the effort is shown on screen. Now the issues I do have with Just Mercy is that the movie is a does overstay his welcome for its 2 hours and 15 minute runtime, and there were parts where it did get a little too exposition heavy and a little too dragged out, but I still found myself liking a lot of parts in this movie. And the reason why I have to bring this up in my negatives as far as the racism scenes go is that some of the scenes are a little hard to watch especially no matter what race you are they are very sensitive to watch it, it can it, there's one scene in particular that is really heartbreaking to watch the performances and the direction is what make keeps this movie afloat and is really well done. Now, for most of you guys, you won't be able to get this until January 10th if you live in other countries, but go support this movie. It deserves it. It's not going to do a lot at the box office, so I would encourage you to go see it, even if you are sensitive to, to some of the racial stuff going on in here, or if you have... You, don't know much about the story I would say watch this movie it is absolutely great overall on my rating system Just Mercy will get an epitastic so what did you guys think of Just Mercy if do you like it do you hate it comment down below let's have a nice friendly epitastic discussion with the epitastic family be sure to follow all my social media links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd, Snapchat, Stardust, my official website, my official podcast on Spotify, my official merchandise store. You, you guys keep it cool and join the epitaskness. Until next time, this is Future Filmmaker 3 Not 4 Reviews, signing out.